There are three different types of implants. We'll call it the Paltop Advanced Implant, the Advanced Plus Implant, and the Dynamic Implant. Now, they all kind of look the same. I flipped through the pictures quickly, but these are the three different implants. They look the same. So here are the differences and why I might select one versus the other. And the Paltop Advanced Implant has a conical apex. So why do I want a conical apex? If I'm placing an implant in close proximity to something vital that I might hurt or tear. So for me, what does that mean? If I'm putting it in proximity to the sinus or Schneiderian membrane or in some type of you know, open or closed sinus graft, that's what I want. I don't want an aggressive implant. I want an implant, right, that's going to have good stability, and I want an implant that has a safe apex. The Paltop Advanced Plus is the same exact implant, except there's an, one aggressive threading cut thread at the end. So when you're going to go ahead and place it into bone and you want to go ahead and get that extra stability by gripping the bone at the apex, that's the Advanced Plus. This is probably what 90% or plus of the implants that I place are going to be the Advanced Plus implant. And this is the Paltop Dynamic Implant. And this has a, the same design but a more aggressive thread. So where do I want to do that? I want to put that, use that usually in something either may, that might be very, very dense bone or it's an extraction socket. Because when you extract the tooth, right, mandible or maxilla, you're going to have thick cortical plate that's on the palatal of the lingual. And generally the implant is going to be placed, positioned more closer and up against that palatal lingual plate. We generally, if we follow what's called a conventional protocol, it's to keep a, a two millimeters from the buccal plate. I don't want to fill that socket because I need to expect some resorption of buccal bone. And so when I go ahead and place the implant, and I'm up abutting into that palatal lingual bone, what's going to happen? The bone is going to, you know, the implant's going to want to follow the path of least resistance, and it's going to get pushed to the buccal, right? Which, so you're going to go and use your guide, right? And all of a sudden, the implant is, you know, tipped, the head of the implant is tipped, you know, more to the buccal. Why is that? Because the implant followed the path of least resistance. So with the dynamic implant and the cutting thread, if you hold the implant to that line, it will cut into that lingual or palatal bone. So that's generally where I use uh, that implant. Now, we've selected our implant. You know, how do we go ahead and, and place that implant? So with Paltop, we have two guided surgical systems. One is a pilot guide that just guides, okay, that just guides the, um, the, uh, the drill itself. You know, you can go ahead and get uh, teacher dressed, okay? That just guides the, the initial pilot drill. And for some people, that's all they need, right? It will guide the, uh, the location, angle, depth of the implant placement, right? And so, you know, here's how it works. You know, the guide, uh, you put the guide in place, and you drill till the drill bottoms out, and then you'll come back and you'll use a, a conventional system to go ahead, or the conventional drilling system of Paltop to go ahead and place the, and place the implants. And so there are the step twist drills with depth stops on them so you can go ahead and create your osteotomies. And a lot of people say, you know, if you just show me location, angle, and depth, I can widen the osteotomies. I want to have some freedom, you know, you know, for that. And then here are the implants that are placed. One's 375, one's 42. Same exact restorative platform, okay? So that means that when it comes to restore it, right, I don't need lots of different impression copings. My staff isn't going to get confused. I don't have to have all this extra inventory on the shelf, right? It's easy to go ahead and do that. And here our sinus graft was done at the same time with regeneration of some of the, uh, of the alveolar ridge.